Welcome to Electron Online, and here in our next example, we're going to do the case where we have a chemical reaction. In this case, we're taking methane and we're combining it with oxygen and some heat to turn into carbon dioxide and water. And of course, that is a combustion reaction. That's simply the burning of methane in the presence of oxygen. And let's say that they give you a mass of 0.682 grams of the initial reactant methane. So you have 0.682 grams of methane to start with, and they ask you the question, how many moles of water will be produced in this reaction? So this is the case where they give you the mass of the reactants. We will then have to convert that mass of the reactants to the number of moles of that reactant, and then we have to convert the number of moles of that reactant to the moles of the associated product. So it's a two-step process. So step number one, we need to find the number of moles of the reactants. So number of moles of methane. All right, how do we do that? Well, the, the equation would be the number of moles of methane is simply equal to the ratio of the mass of methane divided by the mass of methane per mole of methane. And notice that the mass of methane will cancel out with the mass of methane and uh, mass of methane given, I should say, divided by the mass of methane per mole of methane. So this is the ratio of the mass per mole. All right, so let's plug in those numbers. They gave us, and I have to be careful not to run out of space here because I still have to do step two, so let me go over here. So the ratio will be the mass of the methane given, which is 0 0.682 grams, and we divide that by the mass per mole. Now, a mole of methane will have one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. And the mass of one carbon atom, the mass of one carbon, is equal to 12.01 grams. And the mass of one hydrogen is equal to 1.008 grams. So the mass of a mole of methane would be 1 times this plus 4 times that, right? So it would be 12.01 grams plus 4 times 1.008 grams. Notice there's one carbon and four hydrogens in there. So together, let's have a calculator here. Mm, certainly do. Here's my calculator. So it's 12 point, oop, again, 12.01 plus 4 times 1.008 equals, and that's 16.042 grams. So 16.042 grams, which is the mass per mole for methane, and that goes in the denominator of this ratio. So 16.042 grams per mole. So what you do of methane, of course. So this will give us the number of moles of methane. Take the mass that they gave you, divided by the mass per mole. So we're going to divide that into uh, 0.682, and we'll get, this is equal to 0 0.0425 moles of methane. So what we've done now, step one, is converted the amount of mass of methane we had in our reaction that was given, 0 0.682 grams, into the number of moles of methane that was given, simply by taking this number, 0 0.682, and dividing it by the ratio of the mass per mole gives us the number of moles. Step two, we now want to convert that to the number of moles of the product we're looking for, and we're looking for how many moles of water is there. And notice, for every one mole of methane, we produce two moles of water, and that's the ratio we need to know. So step two, the number of moles of water, H2O, is equal to the number of moles of methane we start with, CH4 that we start with, times the ratio of how many moles of product we end up with, with as a ratio of the number of moles of um, reactant we start with. So that would be the ratio of two to one. And so since we started with this many moles, 0 0.0425, 0 0.0425 moles of methane, CH4, and we multiply times the ratio of 2 to 1, which means we'll have twice as many moles of water as the number of moles of methane that we start with. So we'll have twice as many moles of water, so times 2 equals, and so we end up with this is equal to 0 0.085. Five zero moles of H2O.
All right, so first step, you take the number of moles of methane and convert it to the number of, I'm sorry, we start out with the number of grams of methane, convert the number of moles of methane by multiplying the number of grams or divide the number of grams by the ratio of the mass per mole. Use your number of moles of methane, and then you multiply the times the ratio of how many moles of product you end up with as a ratio of the number of reactants you started with. And since that's a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 to 1 multiplied times this gives you the total number of moles of water. And that's how you do that.